Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Hey, you guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. So I wanted to come on here and talk about a few things that were trending today on social media. Um, Once again, folks are going back and forth about this whole vaccine situation. I am so over it, you guys. I don't understand how I'm so over this whole conversation. Just the back and forth with people. You know, if you're vaxxed, People act like, you know, like they died for your sins. If you're not vaccinated, people act like you're the worst people in the world. And then you have certain cities, like even we were down in New Orleans, where now they're asking for a vaccine passport. And if you don't have one, you cannot get into clubs, restaurants, so on and so forth. So that really sucked. It definitely felt like segregation at certain points of my trip. But um, I wanted to go ahead and talk about Tank because Tank went viral a few days ago. It seems like a lot of Black celebrities are now talking about this situation and they're, you know, talking about it unabashedly, okay? So Tank came out the other day and basically... He posted this on Instagram. And the sad part was he was saying that, you know, he's scared that the video might get taken down by Instagram because we all know Instagram, honey, you can't say anything unless it's going with the narrative. And so he wrote this. Don't let anyone take away your right to choose. The land of the free is going to need a name change soon. Wear your mask, even though the virus can pass through a mask, if it makes you feel safer. By all means, do what you must. Make your choice. Don't let anyone judge you for it. Blessings on our survival. Then he goes on to post this video. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, I'm going to say this, and it's probably going to get taken down a flag, but whatever. The vaccine does not help me to you. Me getting the vaccine only helps me to me, right? If I get the vaccine, it's supposed to lessen my symptoms or keep me from the point of death. You understand what I'm saying? Me getting the vaccine does not stop me from spreading the virus or even contracting the virus for that matter. The vaccine is personal, which is why it should be a personal choice. If I decide to bet on my own immune system, that's my choice. If I decide to bet on the vaccine, that's my choice. That's your choice. But saying we all need to get the vaccine to help each other. What are you talking about? You getting the vaccine only helps you. Me getting the vaccine only helps me. People have died still fully vaccinated. People have ended up in the hospital with severe symptoms, fully vaccinated and vice versa. Your choice. Don't let people take over your choice. I'm not going to tell you what I decided to do, but make your own choice, whatever's best for you. All right. So you guys just heard what Tank had to say. And I thought his take was interesting. That's basically what I've been saying over the past few months. And at the end of the day, it should be on that person's individual choice. You know, I don't think anybody should be shamed for getting the vaccine. That doesn't make you a sheep, nor does people not getting the vaccine make them dumb or irresponsible. It should be a personal choice at the end of the day. And so, you know, he's not saying don't get vaccinated. He's just saying this is your choice. And really, it's nobody's business because once again, that, well, there was, maybe there's not any more such thing as HIPAA laws. You know, you wouldn't go up and just ask somebody what their STD test results were, especially if you're not sleeping with that person or what their cancer results were. But people feel like they can just ask you, just random strangers feel like they can just ask you, are you vaccinated? None of your business, you know, but I guess at this point, you're going to have to show a vaccine card so they'll know (laughs) if you are or not. Um, You know, it's going to be coming to many cities, but I think they're going to have to pick very carefully what cities they roll that out in, because some of these cities, they're not playing. Folks aren't trying to hear that shit. And my biggest fear with this whole vaccine passport rollout is that a lot of businesses, especially small businesses, they're going to lose money. Because a lot of people feel like if I have to take a vaccine to come to your establishment, I'll just cook at home. I'll just stay home. I'll just barbecue at home. We'll just entertain ourselves at home. And that's going to affect businesses. So that's the part that's scary to me. It's almost like we're going back to 2020 with the mandatory lockdowns, but not really. Because if half the population is vaccinated here in the Americas and the other here in America and the other half is not, that's half of people losing business revenue, period. 
because you have some people who do not want to get vaccinated. They have no plans on getting vaccinated, you know, and because of that, now a lot of people are risking their jobs. A lot of employers are telling people if you're not vaccinated by September, you will be out of a job. And a lot of my friends have been, you know, had that pressure put on them and things like that. I've had some of my friends quit their jobs. So it's really disturbing a lot of the things that's going on. Well, now today, another celebrity went on a rant. He went on a rant. He was trending all over social media. If you guys do not know, Busta Rhymes went off. He went on this huge two minute rant about, you know, he was just, he's basically tired. He's tired of the mask. He's tired of the vaccine. He feels like it's an agenda. And so this caused a lot of controversy on social media today. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip really quick. Go ahead and check this out. In the last 15 fucking months, COVID could suck a dick. All these little weird ass government policies and mandates suck a dick. I'm trying to take our civil liberties away. Feels good to be back outside. We outside for real. It's called the God-given right of freedom, right? No human being is supposed to tell you you can't even breathe freely. Fuck your mask. I'm not saying. Some of y'all might feel differently, but fuck your mask. I can't ram to you with a mask on. We can't eat food with a fucking mask on. We can't even see each other smile with a mask on. Damn, no. I come from a time where before I used to even want to holler at a chick, I used to have to do shit with my face to let her know that I'm into her. All of that energy gets blocked when your mask is on. Energy is important, and we are all conductors of fucking good energy. We also gotta be clear when a motherfucker trying to give you bad energy. You can tell from only the expression on their face. I wanna see your face. Fuck your mask. <laughs> hey yo! I wanna, I'm, I'm sorry I got a little political and shit. <laughs> I miss my people. We gotta talk. We can party, but we gotta talk. We gotta communicate. We gotta establish new understandings. <laughs> Fuck that. I ain't going through that shit again. And make sure y'all prepare too. Okay. If anything came out of this motherfucker, was a lot of learning. I done learned so much shit in this little time off. Thank you for the one thing that came good out of this fucking shutdown. I have become more empowered. And this energy right here is unfuckwinnable. They can't fuck with us when we're together like this. What's up? All right, you guys just heard what Buster Rhymes had to say. He feels like his civil liberties are being taken away. He also is like, you know, fuck your mask. I want to be able to see people's energies. I want to know if they're good people walking up on me, if they have bad energy, if they have bad intentions. And so a lot of people are knocking him. A lot of people are upset. They're saying that he's irresponsible. Um, they're wishing COVID on him. They're saying, if you get COVID, don't come to Twitter asking for no prayers. Um, you know, people are going in. And honestly, I don't really think he said anything wrong. I just think he, like many Americans, I don't care if you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, people are tired. You know, celebrities are human beings too. He's not saying anything that we haven't talked about what we would call kitchen table talk or, you know, forum talk or, you know, when you talk amongst your friends, everybody is tired. We're tired of going to the store with masks on and seeing babies with masks on and not being able to tell, you know, if somebody's friend or foe. I love a beautiful smile. I love when babies giggle. And it's just, it, it's heartbreaking when you see little kids walking around in masks, you know, and they're not having a normal childhood like what we had growing up. So I definitely understand his you know, his frustrations because I feel the same way. I'm very frustrated. But at the end of the day, being somebody who has a compromised immune system, I'm still going to take my precautions from what I know with Buster Rhymes. He also has some like, you know, breathing issues. He's had some hospitalizations in the past. So, you know, 
as much as it sucks, you still do want to protect yourself. Um, you know, especially when you're in crowds, when you're at Walmart, when you're at concerts, things like that. You want to keep yourself as safe as possible. Hand washing, hand sanitizing. But I'm not going to knock him for saying what he said. You know, I see a lot of people just being really nasty about it. Like, why would you wish COVID on somebody? Again, if you're vaccinated and protected, just be grateful. You know, you shouldn't be wishing bad on other people. So I just think that some of the comments were really disgusting, especially when a lot of white folks have been saying the same thing that Buster Rhymes said. Nobody's dragging them. Nobody's wishing death on Joe Rogan. Nobody's trying to cancel, you know, the people from the Hill. You know, so I just find that very interesting. Joe Rogan went on a rant recently about Anthony Fauci and all the things that he said that have contradicted each other. You know, he's been caught out several times. You know, Bill Maher is saying that he's been vaccinated, but he's not going for a booster. Like people are tired. It's like every time people do something, the goalpost gets moved over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip. Um, Kim Iverson is speaking on this situation. She's talking about Joe Rogan and, and Bill Maher and just all the things that's been going on lately. So like I said, Buster Rhymes is not the only person and the folks are not dragging these other people for their opinions. I don't think it's fair to just, you know, drag him and just drag Tank. A lot of white celebrities are also saying the same sentiments as Buster Rhymes. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.